The stagger layers feature is great to let texts appear one word at a time or one character at a time, for example, but of course it works with any kind of layers, not just with texts. In this example, I start with a single text layer and first use our other super useful Mamo World tool called Text Exploder to split this text into individual letters. As you can see, Text Exploder creates a separate text layer for each letter. Of course, you could also do this manually, and there are also other tools for this task too. But the great thing about Text Explorer is that it does not use any dirty tricks like text animators or expressions or whatever. You really get clean, accurately placed text layers exactly as if you had done it manually, just much faster. Anyway, here you can see that I have already some bead markers in my composition and I've set the in point of the layers already such that they start at this speed here. Now I only want the first letter to appear at this beat and I want the other letters to appear step by step at the next beats. So I select all text layers, place the current time indicator at the beginning of the layers and apply the stagger layers tool. Now I can choose if I want to stagger according to the comp markers or directly based on the selected beats in the beat edit user interface. The result looks like this. Alternatively, you can select the layers in a different order. And as you can see, now they are staggered exactly in this order. One thing that is very important to understand is that the Stagger Layers tool does not always move the start times of the layers exactly to the beat markers. To understand that, let's move all layers such that they are two frames before this marker. And now we set the current time indicator to this beat. This tells Beat Edit that the layers are currently placed relative to this reference beat, so Beat Edit knows that you want the layer to be placed two frames before the respective beats. If we now stagger again, you can see that the layers have been shifted such that all layers start two frames before their corresponding marker. In other words, the relative placement of the layers to their marker has been maintained. The layers don't even need to all start at the same time. Let's say each second layer should start exactly at the beat and the other half of the layers two frames before the beat. If we now stagger again, this behavior is maintained. So this layer, for example, is placed exactly at the beat, as it has been before, and the next one starts two frames before the beat. So, in summary, the stagger layers function offers a very flexible and easy way to shift layers in time. And all you need to understand is that before applying it, you need to place all layers according to one reference beat and then move the current time indicator to this beat before you actually apply the stagger layers function. And then beat edit will distribute the layers along the subsequent markers and keep the relative placement to the markers exactly as it has been for the reference marker. The next function here in the toolbar is stagger keyframes. This is very similar to staggering layers and you can learn more about it in the next tutorial.